We have now learnt about the key elements that make up the process flow. The next step in our process journey is to explore how roles and responsibilities can be incorporated to our models. In this video, we will introduce the pools and swim lanes. Pools and swim lanes define responsibilities within a business process. Pools are used to represent the organizational unit that the process is completed within. The term is kept purposefully vague and open to interpretation in order to allow your company to define the rules that best suits their individual purposes. The pool can be used to represent a team or an organization and is further broken down into the roles that have responsibilities for the tasks within the process. Swim lanes are contained within a pool and communicate with other swim lanes within the same pool without any restrictions. They represent the different roles that execute a process, the process participants. It is important to note that BPMN swim lanes should not represent individuals and names of individuals. This is beneficial for several reasons. Allocating tasks to roles rather than people ensures that processes do not become outdated or inaccurate when that person leaves or moves elsewhere within the organization. If allocation were made by job titles, which are often subject to change or alteration, then this would not allow you the flexibility to allow many people to perform one role or one person to perform multiple roles. The naming of pools and swim lanes is very easy to remember. The titles refer to the names of the roles or organization units and as such should be capitalized. Now we will learn how to create pools and swim lanes in Signavio. In order to add pools and swim lanes into your process model, you will need to drag and drop them from the elements list on the left hand side. There is one element which is called pool slash lane which is used for both. First we add the pool and give it a title. Now for swim lane, if we have just one role responsible for that process, we can double click on the header of the swim lane and name the role. However, if we have multiple roles, we need to have multiple swim lanes. So to add another swim lane, we will use the same element, but this time we will drag it near the top or bottom of the existing swim lane and release. Now, as we have our second swim lane, we can do the same for a third role. Now let's add the main elements to complete our process model. At later stage, if you decide that you want to change the order of the swim lanes within the pool, use the red arrows at the top and bottom left-hand corners.